everybody. Uh, today we're going to do a real quick video that's basically a first look at Stata for those of you kind of simultaneously just learning econometrics, ready to run your first regression, and just learning your newest uh, or only uh, statistical software, uh, in this case Stata. So what we want to do is bring up an example data set, have Stata estimate an OLS regression slope coefficient for us, uh, and then kind of dissect exactly how that value was calculated. Uh, the kind of thing you want to do once, and then for the rest of your life, just let Stata do the work for us. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to run a, a little uh, example data set from the Studentmund undergraduate textbook. Uh, you don't need the textbook to play along here, um, and I'll, I'll put a link uh, in the description of this video for their companion data site. And once you get there, it looks something like this. So it gives it uh, chapter by chapter. Uh, and they have the example data sets in various formats here. Of course, we're going to click on chapter one and Stata. And we will save and open the little zip file here, the folder. Uh, and it's got a two data sets for chapter one. We'll take the first one, which is going to have a height and weight data. Again, just a, kind of a trivial little example data set. So we double click on that and Stata opens it up for us. Uh, so we can browse the data. So just type out browse or click on the data browser in the menu bar. And so our example Y variable here is an individual weights uh, in pounds. So these are individual people. Uh, and then our X variable is height. Uh, in this case, it's measured in inches above five feet. And so the idea being, we'd want to see if there is a meaningful linear relationship between height and weight. And when we think about estimating a regression model, right, we're thinking about plotting that best fit line to our scatter plot uh, of data. So we can go ahead and kind of get that visual before getting the statistics. And in Stata, we can type in this command. So it's the two-way graph command, so two-dimensional graph. Uh, and we can bring it up as a scatter plot between y and x and then we can add to that this linear fit command so we type in l fit and then y and x again in parentheses and we give my state a few seconds to uh to think about it apparently uh, and this will give us our x y scatter plot and what will be our ols uh, regression line over the top of it and there we are so we have our, our y variable here uh, in weight, x variable height, and then each individual combination, and then our OLS best fit line. So of course the question is, what is the slope coefficient associated with that best fit line, and exactly how is it calculated? So the easy way to do this, right, in Stata, we just type in regress, and then the name of the dependent variable, in this case, conveniently, already y, and then our string of exogenous or explanatory variables, in this case, just x, or our height variable. And we hit enter, and we get all of these statistics. One way to think about your first, uh, first few weeks, anyway, of undergraduate econometrics is we're just going to go through each of these statistics uh, figure out exactly how they're calculated, what they mean, and what we do with that information. The one number we're going to focus on right now is this guy here. So this coefficient associated with the x variable, that is the b1 hat slope coefficient. So in this case, a value of 6.37. For every 1 inch above 5 feet an individual is, our model predicts they will be 6.37 pounds heavier. Okay, Again, not, not real interesting, but just for the purposes of, of the exercise. So now the question, okay, how exactly was that number calculated? So what we can do here to kind of dissect that, let's go back to the, the data editor here. So we can, we can type in browse or just click that data editor button. And let's go ahead and just treat this as a little spreadsheet. Select all the values, all 20 observations here. Go Control-C, copy those, and then have a, 
an Excel work file open, paste them over here, and of course what we're going to do is just plug in the numbers, right, to calculate that simple OLS slope formula, right? So we just need to get all the ingredients here. So we have an x minus x bar, y minus y bar, and x minus x bar squared. So we need the x bar and the y bar. So we need just the sample averages. So in Excel, right? So we just go equal average and then select the sample. So there's our average value of x. And then copy that formula one column over. And there's our average weight our average value of y. So now we just make these next columns correspond to each of those elements we need to construct. So we'll label this column. This will be our x minus x bar. Next over, we'll need to calculate our y minus y bar, the product of the two, x minus x bar times y minus y bar. And then lastly, our elements in the denominator are x minus x bar squared. Just so we can see that and open that up. So all we're doing is playing around in Excel for the moment here. So we're going to calculate our x value minus the mean so we can kind of anchor that, uh, that cell down here, which is cell A23. So we use the dollar sign column A and then dollar sign row 23. So that's the deviation from the mean of the first observation. Grab that, copy the formula all the way down. So each of these are the x minus x bar elements. And then same thing for our y minus y bar. So the individual observation of y minus the mean, which in this case is in cell B23, copy that formula all the way down so we get all 20 of our observations. Then here, this is just going to be our C column times our associated D column. And then copy that formula all the way down. And then here, this will be our each element of the C column squared, copy that all the way down, and then we're going to want to add these last two columns up, right? So our formula here will just be the summation of all of these elements, close parenthesis, and we get that number, 590.2, copy that formula over to the next column, and our sum x minus x bar squared, 92.55. So our B1 hat OLS will equal sum of x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by sum x minus x bar squared. And thank goodness it worked out 6.377, exactly what we got in state. There it is right there. So, like I said, you're never going to want to do this again, right? Uh, but it's a good exercise to go through uh, so we know exactly where each of these numbers is coming from. So that's the first number we can check off our list. We can exactly dissect that B1 hat estimate. So, hope you found that useful, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.